Hi, how you doing today? We're kind of out here in the boonies, uh, out here in the timber and stuff. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a little bit about a knife. And that would be this knife right here. And this is an old hickory knife. It's made by Ontario Knife. It's a 14-inch blade. A lot of people on my table look at it and they'll say, oh, a machete. No, it's not a machete at all. Approximately 109 years ago is when they started making this uh, type of a knife by Ontario Knife. And I'll actually turn it around here and uh, maybe we can get a little shot where it actually says Ontario Knife on it. So that Ontario knife, uh, that design and company's been around for about 109 years. Uh, it took me a while and I found this knife right here and that's the biggest uh, house butcher knife I think you'll ever see. And um, so what I did is I took some time, sharpened it up and uh, I made it uh, sharp enough that we can actually cut paper like this out there, clear out to the tip, okay, or on the body of the blade that cuts like this. That's pretty sharp. With the wind blowing a little bit, it messes with my paper, but you can see that knife is really actually very sharp. If you just keep teasing it right out to the tip like that, there, that's sharp. So what I'm gonna do now is I showed you the knife, I cut some paper, we're gonna go over and we're gonna chop off a couple of pieces of wood. A lot of people say that the uh, uh, high carbon blades don't hold their edge very well. Well, I'm gonna prove to you that Ontario Knife anyways holds their edge quite well because I've done this before and I do have one short video that I, like I say, I kind of had to one hand it. I was out in the boonies and it was cold, uh, but that video does exist on YouTube. Now we're going to do it again with somebody helping me so that I don't have to work so hard to get the video.